Hi, I'm Shannon Wilson, a defense coordinator at Carroll High School in South Lake, Texas. What we're going to talk about is our zone pressures, how to implement it, the coverage behind it, uh, the different line movements, and coordinating it against the run and pass. We're going to talk about our zone pressures and we're going to specifically talk about our three zone. And what I mean by three zone is our strong and weak rotations and how we pattern read and get a three under, three deep uh, coverage with uh, a five man blitz. We're talking about why we fire zone and, and why we've evolved to this. For us, it's a great change up because we really are, uh, as most people are, a, a man blitz team. We're going to bring the heat. Uh, and it's a change up because the quarterback gets accustomed to, uh, they know we're going to uh, bring the heat. They're going to be, we're going to be manned up. They've got their certain uh, blitz beaters. And all of a sudden you're in a, in a zone across. It kind of changes uh, everything for them. Uh, you've got a built in line movement for run game and for teams that aren't uh, really proficient in, the, uh, in uh, their blocking schemes as far as pass pro, you can ca cause some confusion and you can actually cause some confusion even in zone and on paper it doesn't look that way but we've made some uh, big plays where uh, even in offensive line zone blocking that they get a little confused with our line movement. The hot reads change. Uh, for the quarterback like we're talking about in a man concept and then you want to find ways to mix it in uh, uh, a true shell so you can evolve you can find ways to to do what we're about to talk about and stay in your same shell and uh, really get get some confusion for those quarterbacks and the, the biggest reason we love it is our kids love it our ends are going to be dropping they love it they take uh, great amount of pride they go to seven on seven uh, our pass hole they're dropping and so we don't just say we're going to do it we actually practice it and I think if you're going to lean towards doing this you've got to really focus on practicing and getting those uh, drop ins into the coverage part of it our alignment rules are this uh, the uh, Strong safety always goes with the Sam, and a free safety always goes with the, the Willie. So however you run your defense, uh, it may be a different uh, name for your personnel, but if you keep something like this attached and tagged, then everything flows from here on out, no matter where you call the string. So here we've called it left, and so it, everything is going to work out later. Here we've actually called it right. Right here the tight end's left. Here the tight end's left, but we called the strength out of our under stuff, under defense, right. It doesn't change who goes with it. A strong safety is still going to go with the Sam, and the free safety is still going to go with the, uh, the Willie. But now we've changed our, uh, our front and our blitz capabilities off of it. Okay, the, we need to talk about the origin of this coverage as we uh, get in this. Uh, 